Good morning and welcome to another edition of Outside of Genie, where we will do the preview for today's racing at um, Scottsville. Before we do that, I just want to quickly draw your attention to a few things. Um, Outside of Genie, uh, the purpose of Outside Genie is to help you as a punter to find outsiders that you can include into your play. So what we do is we give you three selections per race. Um, the first selection is the selection that we think is going to be your outright selection. And then the other two will be outsiders that we think might have a chance of winning or placing um, so that you can include that in whatever your play is. If you play trifectas, quartets, pick sixes, PAs, you can include that. So that should those horses arrive, then at least you will get the, um, the payout. We do have a subscription f a fee. Please um, note, I'm not giving myself out as a tipster. I'm not a tipster. What I do is I analyze form, and from that, I give you my selections. And you can't compare me to other tipsters because some people are asking me, what is my strike rate and all of that. That's not what I do. I, I guide you and to into a, a certain... A, a, to horses that I think are outside of that might win on place. Because at the end of the day, you cannot make money on favorites, but you can make money when you get the outsiders. But not every person or punter has got the ability to find the outsiders. I had a big discussion with somebody on Facebook uh, uh, yesterday, and they wanted to know what is my guarantees, and if they don't win, will I refund them? I cannot do that. I mean, I just give you my input and whatever you do with the selection, that is your choice. But at least you know that the person who's providing you with the information is a person that has got a track record whereby I have given people 66 to 1 winners, 55 to 1 winners. Last Saturday, I guided people onto a 66 to 1 winner. During the week, seven Patriots, 55 to 1. I guided the prize. I said, listen, this goal has got ability. You need to include. So that's what I do. I give you race by race selection. I give you a value bets, normally 6 to 1 and higher. My base bets is not um, uh, uh, odds on. On uh, first day, I, I, I was so happy because I gave the uh, you, the guys the best bet of the day was Rouge Alert at 7 to 2. Now, I can tell you there's not many tipsters in this country that will, that, that will put their whatever on the table and tip a 7 to 2 as the best bet of the day because they normally tip you something like 8 to 10, 9 to 10. Every sheep can find a 9 to 10 winner. No problem. But to find a 7 to 2 and then uh, 7 to 2 for a best bet of the day, the horse went on to win by five links. I never had a cent on that because I don't punt. Because if I don't punt, then my selections are objective. Uh, so I don't, I don't tip according to what I play. I tip according to my form analysis. And to me, Rouge Allure was the best bet on the card. When I saw that, I knew that for a fact. Because there were certain things that pointed me into to that direction. And that's what you want from me. That is what I will give you. And I don't phone trainers. I don't phone um, nobody for tips. Although you will see here uh, um, for my July special, I did spoke to Pierre Stradoff. And I asked him if he would give us a preview. Because if there's one person that I respect in this country uh, with, uh, who would give a, his honest opinion about a, a, a horse, that's Pierre Stradoff. And uh, some people say he's negative. I say no. He is like me. He's a form analyzer. And that is what I respect from him because he uh, uh, gives his views according to the form study that he did. And he agreed that for the July day, he will give us a preview of the day's races. So what I want to do, if you subscribe now for 400 Rand, you can share it in the Durban July special. 100 Rand of that subscription will go to I, what I want to do is I want to do a pick six, a PA and a jackpot on July day. The pools are normally high, so you will be able, uh, um, you know, maybe if we get something, we will collect. I will play and I will post the tickets on my uh, Vodacom group. Okay, then, um, yeah, so uh, also for a July day, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to do a race by race preview of all pick six races. So I'll do a video of a parade preview on race four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But only people who subscribe will 
will get that. I will still do the preview of races one, two, three, and I think normally there's 12 races and 10, 11, 12, I'll do that. I'll post that for free. But on the pick six races, you need to go, you need to, uh, you're going to have to subscribe to get my views on that. You can contact me on 83 585 So that is the homework done. Let's go racing. All right. Um, first of all, I'm not going to bother on the first two races. The first two races is a lot of first-timers, two-year-olds, um, and my advice, stay away. But let's quickly look at the betting just for the interest and for the guys who wants to know. In the first race, another love, 18 to 10, um, 11 to 10, loose of current. Personally, I just quickly I had a quick look, and uh, I do think that, this 11 to 2 might be nice each way value. So if you want to take a bet there, 6 to 1 Winter Whistle, 8 to 1 Panakota, 9 to 1 Scented Mistress, 18 to 1 Legend Hazard. Uh, I, I just I feel that this horse might be improved, but yeah, as I said, I didn't do a lot of study. Uh, 20 to 1 and more the, the rest. So let's look at race number two. There's a lot of uh, first timers in this race as well. There's Captain, Captain Fontaine, 16 to 10, Lionel Hewitson riding, 18 to 10, the um, Tracker Jacker, 3 to 1, Hail Columbia, Chief Officer, uh, uh, 16 to 1. Um, guys, if you're looking for value, uh, each way value, this is the value. Um, uh, and then also number 16 and uh, number 14, 16 to 1, see in the light, 20 to 1, Nichols in. Also, yeah, you can um, take uh, maybe each way. Uh, for Rhys riding, I've got a lot of respect for him. I mean, he's one of the better balanced uh, uh, jockeys. He just sits on the horse and then the horse is just too swing. He comes from behind and from nowhere, the next moment he's in the race. I saw it again during the week where he, where he won with a horse. The horse was nowhere the next moment. He was there going away. And he's such, he's such a beautiful balanced jockey. I, I really think that maybe one day he'll still also become a champion jockey. So that's my views, but as I said, it's not selections, it's just some views that I want to give you. So let's go to race three, where we have a first time at Wings of Fire, 53 to 10, 4 to 1, Leading Lady, Good uh, good Girl, 4 to 1, 6 to 1, Harper's Dream, 7 to 1, Aqua Soule, uh, Lucy Lou, 20 to 1, and higher the others. Now, if you like to look at race three, um, yeah, there's lots of horses who have chances. As I said, there is a first timer. We look at the first timers just now, um, but sorry, guys, you want just uh, please be uh, be with me because this thing sometimes you battle to scroll up and down of this PDF thing. All right, so um, the first horse I want to look at is. Um, uh, Number five. Number five came off a race and then it ran a really improved race. Um, it says your crop misuse ran on. Now it's getting minus two and a half. And it looks like this horse have improved after the race. Although he had a nice batter trial and then didn't show much after that. But um, so maybe this race did this fairly good and definitely to in, uh, something to include. Um, if I look at number six, Cupid, um, I'm not sure what the betting is on that number six. Uh, yeah, it's 20 to one. Um, I do like the breeding of this horse, Carrari, Carrari out of a Western winter me, but it looks like this horse might need further on that breeding. Um, Jason Gates, I think, is a very nice apprentice. He, the horses do run for him. Again, here we've got seven, Harper's Dream. Also, Karari out of a Royal Academy, me, Richard for riding. Um, came, they didn't run a bad race. Of course, if you look there, 23.1 um, for the last 400 to finish, that's not too bad. So, this number seven, Harper's Dream, uh, currently uh, 6 to 1, nice inclusion not to leave out. Then we have the favorite year, Eight Wings of Fire, Ideal World, um, out of, um, by a Bezran Me. This horse must show a lot in work so to be able to be favorite, because um, I would think on that breeding, this horse would be running, would be needing further. Um, Coupe de Gras, New Stallion on the block, hasn't shown, his children hasn't shown much for at the moment. Um, so, 
I just want to get uh, number 11 leading, uh, 11 leading lyrics. Has also run well as a second and a third, and uh, definitely in with a huge chance. Unfortunately, runs from, um, yeah, but this is, this is a straight course, so that's not a, a problem. So, um, I just want to quickly check, check here something. Check something. Yeah, it's the 1,200 meters a straight course, so that's not a problem. Um, and it's been there and there about Warren Kennedy rides. It looks like Warren Kennedy can have a good day, so it will be good to follow him. Um, then my 12 good gold Duke of Marmalade by Fordwood. Uh, I really do fancy this horse. Um, this horse uh, has run on well on Scottsville here. She beat just on... on uh, um, it was this. It was a bad trial. Okay, she doesn't run too bad. D. Then I ran on behind Bryn Nilda last time out. Cast right front shoe. So you can know that done. And that was over 1400 meter. Now back uh, over 1200. And I do think that this horse will definitely be involved in the finish. Well, let's move on then to race number four. Race number four is a. Uh, Second ball winter challenge. Guys, now I want to warn you today. I've seen on these winter challenges race days. People, there's a lot of good horses running. People go nuts and then they lose money. Today will be a day with I where I would have been playing lightly if I was a punter punting the horses because there's lots of horses with chances. I, I'm giving you my um, selections. And as I say, it is, it, it is difficult to find the right horses. Um, because it, it is definitely competitive, and yeah, it, it's not a it's not a day to go big on on punting. Here we have twelve hundred meters, uh, C eighty class. Just look at the betting first race four, drunken sailor four to one, Marizan six to one, trip to Africa thirteen to two, in a minute eight to one, celebration rock ten to one, rock rock team to one, ten to one, Valente Constantine twelve, Calabro twelve twenty two and longer um, the rest. So let us have a look here at race four. I can't uh, talk about all horses, it will take too long. Swagger Jagger as an ex-Joba course has been running here. Um, I'm not too sure what to think. Has run against some decent horses in, in Joba. Um, now it's running over the 1200 meters. I did not ran bad last time out running on to Mary riding, but I see he's not getting his claim, so that makes a big difference. Royce Magic also a horse that's always there and thereabouts. You never wrote know that rock kind of which horse is going to rock up today. Uh, I think here is one of your huge runners today. Celebration Rock, eight runs, course and distance, four wins, um, definitely. And again for re riding, I think this horse is in with a huge chance today. Um, on the Scottsville 1200 meters. He's won quite a nice few races on it. And I just want to quickly mention here that um, Marizan is also is, is, is down down the field. He's also in this race. And Marizan, I, I, I really fancy to win this race. Now you'll see here that this horse has beaten Marizan. And Marizan was carrying 54 and a half. So there was one and a half kilogram uh, difference. Now Marizan is carrying a kilo, is carrying 59. So there's a two and a half kilogram difference uh, for a 0.05 beating. So in theory, Marizan uh, should beat Celebration Rock. And I think they're going to be close together because Marizan is my, my selection to win this race. So uh, that might be a nice exacta for you to take as well. Then um, Spring Burst is always in with a chance, as one uh, coming off a rest um, might need to run. And then um, I want to talk about number one in a minute. Now, this horse, they put it over, it won over 1200 meters, 23.1, lost one and ran on. Now, with Lyle Hewitson, which is also a very good jockey, it's back on and they put it over longer distances, which doesn't run too bad. Now they're bringing it back to the 1200 meters, and I, I think. That might be the, run, the, the, the the correct thing to do. So number five in a minute, definitely in with, with, with a chance. 
as I said, um, there's many horses of chances. I can't discuss all the horses then. It's going to be too long. Number eight, Calabro is also a type of horse who's always dead and dead about. Um, you know, uh, this is a half brother to um, um, Legal Eagle. For those, if you don't know, but no, don't know that, um, has run well uh, over this distance at five runs, one win, and a four. But um, yeah, it's always there and there about there ran behind Padre Pio, which is not a bad horse. Um, Mount Anderson, Kingston, beat Kingston Rock. Um, so definitely a horse that you should include in your place somewhere. Trip to Africa, there's also as his followers um, came off a rest and just maybe too far last time back over 1200 meters in with a chance Warren Kennedy on board definitely was to not leave out um, so then as I want to get to let's go down a little bit purple purple Nyakazi also in with a chance um, it's all a tour out of a triple me nicely bred it ran a dismal race here. Um, he severely nine on me to say ignore that run. But before that, it showed. I think this is uh, uh, this horse can improve. Um, number twelve, Purple Mukasi is forty-three to one. Um, yeah, I haven't got it anywhere in my selections, but it does look if you can afford in maybe back end of what bits. But I think this horse um, can be uh, one of the improvers of the race. Coco, Paul Haverty. Paul Haverty has got quite a few runners and a lot of them with chances. Coco is also there and thereabouts. He hasn't run a lot over this course and distance, so you'll have to see. But the horse that I uh, was talking about, um, Duncan's Wishful Marizan. Now, as well as I want to get to, Marizan. The arena riding draw 16. Um, Course and distance, five runs, as all but four out of five times was either won or placed. There's the race behind Celebration Rock, uh, as we ran behind True to Life. If you look here, this race um, is a 95 merit rating, average merit rating. Yes, she's run against 83, 198. True to Life, but pretty young thing. Man, that, that is also a, a strong. That was also a strong field. So I do feel that um, the horse to beat in this race is number 16, Marizan. It's also well bred that Alvina has thrown quite a few nice um, offspring and Magog, uh, I think it's a very nice sire. And I see Warren de Firma is one of the owners of this race. Good luck to him. So let's move on to race number. race number five and that is a, a C class C 82 minute rating let's look at the betting first race number five yeah your betting special blend 22 to 10 black fox 3 to 1 favor 72 alcoys 9 to 1 the Inte 10 to 1 wildlife safari 10 to 1 clouds of wisdom 12 great warrior 16 and 25 and longer the rest so let's have a look at race number five. Now, um, last week I made Black Fox one of my, was my best bet of the day, but unfortunately Black Fox found himself too far um, behind and uh, just just couldn't make it up. He was uh, coming home, hands over fist today, a longer distance. I think the longer distance will suit him. Lyle Hewitson riding, drawn one. But again, the problem is it has it is up a little bit in class because here we are running on a, a class C uh, 95. But as I has, has run around about that class, so uh, we just want to confirm it quickly. Sorry, I made a mistake here. It's average minute rating 82. Sorry, I was... Uh, Looking at the next race, 82. For those that um, doesn't know, I just want to confirm this quickly. 
educate you a little bit. What you look at here, you get your class to see, and the average merit rating of the horses in this race is 82. So what you do is you compare that to horses that you run previously. Now, if you look at number one, Black Fox, Black Fox has run against um, a 90, where he was 1.5 behind Williams Land, but, and then again, 78, 72, he's, he's a little bit up in class, but um, he's carrying less weight. And I've, I do think, and with the draw one, Lyle Hewitson might not find himself too far back and definitely a horse that is um, in contention to win this race. Then um, let's look at some other horses. Number two, uh, Warren Kennedy again. Diento definitely in with a chance. Been running on largely, uh, is running on largely, uh, nicely in races. So can definitely, um, you know, uh, be involved. There you've got um, behind Gigi's Dynasty, African Sunrise. So it's been there, thereabouts. Only had seven runs. Definitely always Warren Kennedy on board. Duro, definitely all that you would include in your play somewhere. Then um, four great warrior. Also a young horse, well-bred. This uh, Stalin versus Gatorix, he gets them to run. Um, one over the 1,600 meters, 3.7. Then ran in a higher class behind Black Ball, which was not a bad run. Then a little bit down Dutch Alley and then uh, was there, but faded over the last uh, uh, late and tired late. So definitely all that you want to include in your play. Another uh, Paul Laverty inmate. Um, Mighty Smart, Jason Gaze on board. There's always um, Start the bit Archie Pinko. There's not a lot of them running, uh, but he himself was a good horse. But I do think that this horse might be one of the improvers in the race, put in back ends of your quartet. Cloud of Witness. Um, I think this is also a horse with a huge chance, has been running against stronger um, parts of Ricky Special Brain marching together. And uh, yeah, I think we'll definitely be involved in the finish. Here's your favorite special blend. Uh, special blend. Um, did one well last time in the same division. And Marcus is riding. Uh, definitely in with a chance. It was 92 at that day. This horse runs on well because if you look at the third fastest, fourth, fourth fastest, second fastest. So this horse always runs uh, from behind. And at Scottsville, that is definitely the advantage. Cause five runs, two wins, and a third. So definitely a worthy favorite. But uh, I do feel that um, one or two might have its measure today. But I can be wrong. Also, that I want to discuss is number nine, our, our Coise. Now, our Coise is also trained by Paul Laverty and written by Richard Fourie. Now, I can tell you, I really think that Al Koi is, 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 is waiting for this jockey because the way Richard Furry rides will sue this horse. This horse always come from behind. And if you look here, it has beaten a horse called Capu, 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 Capurea, whatever. That horse won a future the other day beating top horses. It's also run against Black Ball. Look at that, 99, 98, 8900. And one of these days, this horse is going to come up and um, will win. But he said it's always lost two links, lost. Three. But I think of Richard Fourie, I, I think will make a difference on this horse. And it might pay to take the exact one and nine. So let's now move on to race number 10. Uh, horse number 10, it's also uh, uh, as I, as I had two runs after the uh, maiden can be an improver. Guys, then I want to move on to race number six. Um, I'm not going to dwell too long on race number six. Number six is a track and ball derby. 2,400. Let's look at the betting. 
marching together, 14 to 10, 20 to 3, eyes wide open. It's my turn, 3 to 1, Duke of Spin 12, 20 to 1, and longer the others. Uh, I think in this race, uh, marching together, the way he won last time, um, there's not a lot of horses that can beat him. Um, I think he was in with a huge chance today. And I think his own his bigger danger can be it can be from number four. It's my turn. It's my turn. Um, as was running well two years ago, and then uh, got hurt. Sorry. Um, as I said, scrolling up and down on this sometimes is a nightmare. It won three races in a row around about this time two years ago. And then um, I think the horse got injured and then came back in October due to two tri uh, battle trials, um, didn't run, and then came back we are running behind Gina's dynasty and hanging out. I think this will be the biggest danger to marching on together. Um, then there's just uh, another thing that I want to discuss with this number one dark moon rising. Uh, uh, rising. I've been waiting for this horse to win again because I really think that this is a good horse, but uh, it's won six races and it's there and there about always three links, two links, five links, eight links, four links. And one of these days, this horse is going to come up. I don't know if it's going to be today, uh, but if you can afford it, maybe add it into your play. Um, but this horse, I mean, you don't win six horses if you're a donkey. That's for sure. So, of course, it's won one, one uh, once, two seconds, and a third likes the course. So, definitely include this into your, pay, into your play. But for me today, marching together, uh, one of the better bets of his biggest dangerous, it's my turn. We then move on to race number seven. And race number seven to me, um, it's also the. Um, Jack and Ball Oaks, grade two. Let's look at the betting. And here the betting is um, number one, Pomander, four to one, Chatinga, two to one, Kelpie, six to one, Ballet Shoes, 15 to two, Return to Flight, eight to one, 14 to one, Flitchy by far, 14 to one, this is group. Seville Orange won this race last year, running start to finish, now 14 to one, and longer the others. So let's quickly have a look at the race. Um, for me, I'm I'm putting my, uh, my head on the table, and I think number one for Meander, for Michael the Cock, and, and Kellen Murray will run a huge race here. This horse, um, I don't know what happened that, that behind that race, but ran two links behind. Summer Pudding, 1.25. Summer Pudding came out the other day and won on its coconut. This horse is distance suited. I think it's well, it is well bred flower alley out of a uh, black Munaloos me, and I think that this horse is the he is the horse to beat in this race. Um, number three, return flight. Has lost form, run, running the end and the about, but need to improve. Fritchie by far, also a good horse, always the end and the end about, uh, do uh, love the distance and can also uh, be, cannot be left out. Jatingo has won two races, beating Pomodoro, um, carrying 60, and Pomodoro was carrying 52. So on weights, um, Pomodoro can't beat um, uh, Tatingo, but I've seen stranger things happen um, whereby um, Pomodoro is a three-year-old, Tatingo is a, uh, is a, a four-year-old. Four I just want to see quickly uh, something. Pomander, Pomander is carrying 56. Tatingo is carrying 58, so it's only two kilograms. So, um, you know, it will be hard for him to turn around, but yeah, uh, number three is an improver, where number four uh, might not have a lot of improvement to do. It's fun, but it's going to be a very good race. Another horse that can come into play is Jeanne Sequa. Cotson Stable is in form, can include that one as well. Kelpie is uh, Crawford. Brett Crawford always dangerous. Marcus riding. Um, hasn't run this distance, and on this run behind Summer Pudding, um, I don't think can beat number one. Coral Bay, um, also Grant Cotson. It's also always, it's always there and thereabouts. Ran a very good rate behind Mojave Gold. 
again stronger last time. The behind snap scan was also a strong race, 106. So can uh, maybe place. And let's move on to the next race. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. I just wanted to mention this horse. I think one of the improvers in this horse is going to be number 11, Ballet Shoes. It's a twice over out of a Thunder God's Me. Um, has run in this, uh, also behind Summer Pudding in the Oaks. Ran third just behind um, Pomander. Richard for re-riding. I think this horse can also be uh, involved in the finish and, and maybe in the places. So let's, then you have Seville Orange, who won this race last year. But um, I can't see her winning today, this, this, uh, this stage. She's not on form. Um, so definitely, uh, yeah, uh, they will have to improve. Uh, this is, sorry, I forgot. There's one horse also I want to mention, Dynasty Bloom. A horse that you can never leave out. Uh, she won a race uh, last year at 3,200. Stated distance, always can pop up. Has run some decent races against strong swords and can surprise, um, but might need a little bit longer. Let me get to race eight. Where the betting is as follows, race eight, number 10, Mount Anderson, four to one, Quickstar, nine to two, Newstream, five to one, Exotonic, eight to one, Fallen, 17 to two, the Bio, 10 to one, uh, Attachment, 12 to one, um, 14 to one, and 16 to one, Apple has graced, 20 to one and longer the others. So let's look, look at this field. Exotonic won two races ago. Now again, I oh, just want to please confirm with you this. Um, what we're looking at here, we're looking at the Class C, merit rating 79, 1600 meters. So that's one of it. Slightly stronger, did win a race. Quick star always there and thereabouts. Lorena on board, do have a chance. Uh, number three. Farland, those horses are always a danger. He always runs well, um, but hasn't won at Scottsville, although has been placed for rear board, can make a difference. At middle squeezed, uh, guest number eight, one last time at eight to one uh, in a little lower division. But the horse that I think they all have to beat is number six, the Bayo. The Bayo um, has run against some strong opposition. Sorry, I'm going to get there. We have a look there. Um, as you can see, a Guru Sprite, Noble Joshua. Uh, I mean, this, all, this is a 79, and he's running against 83s, 84s, daily one on a 77. Um, and I think that the Bayo last time out, although beating six lanes by his owner, Zilk, Zilk was the, the best of the rest, and that was a 92. So he's down in class, Lionel Hewitson riding. I really think that this is the horse they have to beat. Currently in the betting, the bio 10 to 1. Then um, we move down to New Stream. Uh, New Stream uh, 7 uh, is also running there and thereabouts. Also has run again slightly stronger, but also in with a chance. Liquid Iris, Mount, uh, just want to get to Mount Anderson. Mount Anderson. Young horse, three year old, well bred. Um, ran on last time after the rest. Well, definitely in with, with, in with a shout. The 10th draw might be a problem. In count the Bucks is also, uh, it's not showing much, but uh, with Jason Gates and Grant Costin, might pop up and surprise. Um, has run not too bad in this division. Last time out was running on can improve, so maybe put in the back ends of your quartets. Um, that then bring us to race number nine, the maiden plate. Because I just want to say, uh, if you maybe want to play a, a nice each way double, it might be good to take the Bayou a 10 to one and you play that with um, 
number one black fox. That will give you four times 11. It will give you about over 40 to one. And, and even if you take it each way, you might have a good chance of uh, collecting. So let's look at a ninth race. Royal Exhibit, 15 to 10. Lord of the Manor, 6 to 1. Late. Lady of the 2D, 8 to 1. Black, Fight to Black, 9 to 1. Tell and Eve, 10 to 1. Yuka's Dance, 10 to 1. Red Hot Knight, 16 to 1. The Appeal, 20 to 1 and longer. Um, so let's look at this race. There's quite a number of horses with chances. Number one, um, let's start with number one, the appeal. Um, hasn't shown much, but they have run behind five rings behind Mount Anderson. So if Mount Anderson runs a good race, then this horse will definitely be, uh, that will enhance his chances. Drawn one can um, be involved in a finish. Number two, to leave has shown market improvement. Um, and last time out ran second. Um, drawn two behind Thomas Henry at 18 to 1 over the 1400 meters. Um, was finishing well, but although in a slow time was second, fastest one to finish, ran on late. Um, yeah, this horse case definitely, uh, if in with a chance because it is improving to Captain L. Out of a forward with me, well bred, has run against um, seven Patriots in Joburg. Six Joburg goes the cock that came out to win again on Thursday. So, um, yeah, definitely in with a chance. Then we move on to race number, number, draws number three. Lord of the Manor has improved last time. Dylan riding um, over the 15 meter Scottsville. Also ran on nicely 23.420. You see the 23.9. Lord of the Manor, definitely a horse that you can include in your calculations. Then Drambui hasn't shown much. I will pass it by for now. Then, um, yeah, as I said, there's a lot of horses with uh, chances. Um, I want to then talk about number uh, number 10 is your favorite year. Royal Exhibit, run well last time. Fastest 400 to finish, Jacobs getting minus two and a half, uh, longer distance, and but it's a two-year-old against some hard knocking three or four-year-olds, and that might be a, a little bit of a disadvantage. Now, uh, guys, in, um, I'm going to look at this horse. Number 11, Red Hot Knight. Jockey Richard Fourie. This horse has had stable change, if you can see that. On its first run with um, the Van Sales Jr., he ran 23 seconds, 400 to finish, fastest 400, ran on late over the 1500, now the 1600 meters. Uh, the only thing is drawn 11, but I'm sure Richard will, 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 will be a problem as this horse is going to be running on at the end. And to my mind, this horse is horse with a huge chance is running against horses like Wolfgang. I think that has won three or four times. Williams Land is not a, a, a donkey. That um, ran on behind Frankie Two Shoes. Frankie Two Shoes, that they went start to finish. Red Hot Knight currently 16 to 1. Nice each way bet. So definitely in with a chance. Okay, so that concludes my uh, my assessment. As I said, there's many horses of chances. I can't I can't uh, dis uh, discuss all of them with you, but I really think that um, today is the day that you uh, it really needs to be very careful because there's lots of horses of chances, uh, and I think it's going to be a difficult day finding winners. So thank you, and have a nice day, and break a leg.